At the very end of my last video, I showed a frog cyborg music video and I ended up getting a lot of comments about it. So I decided to make a tutorial on the whole process of creating it. It was done using four completely free AI tools, but there's other tools that could be incorporated into the process. So I'm also going to make a second music video with a different song and a different set of tools. And then a third one with another tool. So this should be a good comparison of the different tools and demonstrate all the options to choose from. Then you can decide what will work best for whatever it is you want to create. The main tool in common across these is Suno to create the songs. It generates the music and vocals, which is the most mind-blowing part of this whole process to me. I generated everything in Discord in the last video, but they released a web version recently, which makes it much more user-friendly, so I'll use that this time. It's pretty straightforward once you're in here. In the prompt box, just write the genre and topic you want it to generate. That will have ChatGPT write the lyrics for you, or you can switch it to custom to use your own lyrics. I'll use the same frog rock concept, then it generates two options in just a few seconds. These come back up to 80 seconds long now, so I'll just play parts of these. In a world of gears and circuits, a new creature takes its form. A frog part machine, amphibious cyborg. I'm into it, but it's a little more experimental than I'm looking for. I wasn't very specific with my prompt. You can guide it a lot more than I did, but let's try number two. A fusion of nature and technology, a sight to behold. That's what I'm looking for. And over here, you can either re-roll it with the same prompt, or if you like the song, you can continue it. That will pick up right where it left off. Then you can add more lyrics, like a second verse and chorus. But I want a guitar solo, so I'll put that in the lyric box and the style. Let's check that one out. That doesn't really sound like a guitar, but the drums with the double bass pedal are awesome. So that's the process. Then you just re-roll and generate different variations and continuations until you have a full song you like. For the music video, we need to start with some images. The free method is with Playground AI. If you watched my last video, I did cover this. You can jump to the next chapter if you'd like. I use a completely different combination of tools for the next music videos. Here's the generation box. I'll just drag the corners for a 16 by nine aspect ratio frog playing a guitar for the prompt. And I'll generate four options. Then over on the left, I'll select a style. Neon Mecha gives the futuristic look I'm going for. It generates pretty quick and that looks great. I also need a singer and a drummer. That made it seem really easy, but in reality, I generate a ton of these and then pick the best ones. And that Neon Mecha style looks awesome for this. There's a ton of other really cool styles in here, depending on what you're going for. Next up, we can animate these for free with Pika Labs. Pika 1.0 is the web version that just came out. It has a big jump in quality and user experience. It is still on a wait list. You can sign up for it at pika.art. They are letting people in a lot more regularly now. If you don't have access, you can use it in Discord until you do. So I'll upload the image here, then add a basic prompt of frog playing guitar. Down here, there's options for aspect ratio and frames per second. Then we have camera controls, then negative prompting, which is really helpful to get better generations. I'll do just a standard copy paste here and then run it with that. All right, that looks solid, but there is some weirdness to it. So just like with the images, I reroll it a bunch of times and pick the best options. With the web version, the organization is so much better. All your rerolls pop up right here underneath. And once there's a good generation, you can extend it beyond three seconds if you'd like. It's another big upgrade. You also have the option to in-paint, where you can just change specific areas of your video and a bunch of other features. It's a big step up from Discord. Now, I know they will be coming out with a paid tier for this, but I don't know any of the details about that yet. And the most difficult part is editing this all together well. This one's actually the most complicated to edit out of all three of these. The final one doesn't even require any editing at all. You'd think this cartoony frog one would have been the easy one. Since this will vary based on what you're creating and what software you're using, I'm not going to do a step-by-step. -step. I'll just cover the main issues I ran into and how I solved them. This is the timeline in Premiere Pro. The first issue was lip syncing. The common lip syncing tools don't work for characters like these. I'll go over them for the second song because I used P 
people in that video, but for this one, I had to get creative. I took the best generations of the singer's mouth moving and played it forward and in reverse at varying speeds to sync it up the best I could. And that was pretty tedious. Let me know if you have a better way to do that. I would love to know. The other issue is I could not get any generations to go well that involved the full band. I'd only get one of them looking decent at a time. So to solve that, I took an image of the full band, then cropped a version of each character and animated them separately. Then I layered them on top of each other with masks. You can notice where they interact in some areas if you look close. Those are the two main issues I ran into, which may or may not apply to whatever you're making. Other than that, it was fairly basic editing, just some zooms and picking the right clips and syncing it up to the song. Then I exported the full video, which was in 720p. Then CapCut has a free 2x video upscaler under Magic Tools. So I'll drop this in there and run it, which ups the quality a bit. I'll play this one again before we jump into the next song. This is the same video from last time, so all the clips were generated in Discord before Pika 1.0 came out. First, one more thing we need is an album cover. Let's see what ChatGPT can do. That is perfect. It didn't get the text quite right. That's an easy fix. But more importantly, it's missing the umlaut. I can't let that slide. There we go. Now we can listen. Honestly, I love that song. It gets stuck in my head every time. Let's jump into the next one. In the last video, I used the lyrics from Purple Haze with a random genre in Suno, and the song it came back with was amazing. It's crazy the amount of emotion that came out in the vocals. It's weird to call it emotion in an AI voice, but that's what it sounds like. I just extended the song a few times, picked the best options, and spliced it together. For the images, I need a good female vocalist, and I want it to be more realistic this time, so Midjourney is going to be the best option. I have a channel in my Midjourney server where I enter random cool prompts I come across. This is one I saw Heather Cooper share on X. She's a great follow. She shares awesome Midjourney stuff all the time. But purple is one of the main colors, and it's a little psychedelic. I think that will fit the vibe of the song perfectly. So I will copy that and then run it in a different channel. And that looks solid. So I'm going to run that a bunch of times and test out some different variations on the prompt. All right, instead of having you sit through me generating images for an hour, basically what I did was run the prompt a lot and then upscale options I thought would work well. From there, I'd use subtle and strong variations to fine tune the results. I also used zoom out on some of them. I just did that a bunch until I ended up with some images I really like. Then I did a 2x upscale on my favorites. I also used the same bass prompt, but for someone playing guitar and also for a man because there's a male voice that comes in later on in the song. This is what all that looks like on the Midjourney site with all the images laid out right next to each other. This is one of my favorites of all these. So I'm going to animate the singing. I'll be using HeyGen. It's a paid tool that's really easy to use, but there are free tools if you want to learn them. Wave to Lip and Sad Talker are the best I've seen. Here's a comparison of those. Hello, I am Eve, the lead actress of Fictions.ai. Hello, I am Eve the lead actress of fictions.ai. Hello, I am Eve, the lead actress of fictions.ai. There is a learning curve for those and it runs fairly slow unless you have a capable computer and can run it locally. So I'm doing this the easy way. With HeyGen, I just click create video, select avatar and go to photo avatar, then upload the image here. Then upload the audio and click submit. Easy as that, and it will finish in a couple minutes. Here's a glimpse of what that looks like. Lately, things just don't seem the same. And I have another image I'm going to switch to throughout the video, and also a male vocalist, so I'll do that 
exact same process for those. Now I want to animate the guitar images I had. Also the zoomed out vocalist was a little boring, so I want to animate the background of that. Since I showed Pika Labs earlier, I'm going to use Runway ML this time. They have a bunch of tools, but I'll be using Gen 2 for this, which is right up top. I'll start with an image. I have a few I want to test out to see what the animations look like, but this was my favorite, so I'll start there. And I want to add a prompt. I'll just keep it simple. And this motion brush feature is really cool where you can select which part of your image you want to animate and choose how it will move. I don't think that will work well for this one, so I'll just adjust the motion slider and test out a few different numbers. The camera motion tools here are great as well. The visual for how it will move is really helpful, but I'm just gonna leave it as is and add a little motion later in Premiere if I need it. That's the process. I'll generate a bunch of stuff and then come back. The hand was the biggest struggle for sure, but the waves looked amazing on a couple of these. This other one had a couple good generations too. I extended one and it did this sort of dissolving effect I thought was pretty cool. Some of the other guitar images I just couldn't get to work out well. I also animated that same image of the woman and I'm planning to layer it with the one that's singing and I'll just add a mask to combine them. And that should be everything I need. The editing for this one is pretty straightforward. The main part is I wanted to merge some of the singing clips from HeyGen with the animated versions from Runway. For that, I'll just layer them on top of each other and then add a mask around the face with a lot of feathering. And then I'll just do that same thing with a couple of the other clips. So nothing too difficult there much easier than editing the last one. Then the last thing that I already did was if you can see where these audio tracks are stacked here, I added a harmony. To do that, I isolated the vocals from one of the generations I ended up not using. I used a software called Ultimate Vocal Remover. It's completely free and open source and you can download it to your computer. So I'll go over this part quick. You just add the song for the input, select where to output, then switch process method to MDX net if it's not already. Then select the model. The best one for this is Kim Vocal 2. It won't be here your first time you open it. So you'll click download more models, select MDX net, then select Kim Vocal 2 from the dropdown. I only need the vocals for this one, but leave this unchecked if you also want the instrumental. Everything else can stay the same and start processing. This is a short clip, so it's done pretty fast. And now here's the vocals. Don't know if it's day or night You got me blown Purple haze all in my eyes Don't know if it's day or night Then this is the before Purple haze all in my eyes Don't know if it's day or night you Here's the after Purple haze all in my eyes Don't know if it's day or night You got me blowing, blow my mind is it I did that in a couple parts and that was it. This is the song, the vocals in particular, that I've been most blown away by from Suno. And this is the worst it will ever be. Imagine what these tools will be like in another year. Purple haze all in my brain lately. Things just don't seem the same. Acting funny, but I don't know why. Excuse me while I kiss the sky. Purple haze all around Don't know if I'm coming up or down Am I happy or in misery? Whatever it is That girl put a spell on me Help me Help me, help me I'm alone, alone. Purple haze all in my eyes Don't know if it's day or night You got me blowing, blow my mind Is it tomorrow or just the end of time? I'm going to do one more, so back to Suno. I've been messing around with some different genres. This one had some cool results. Groovy Neo Soul song. Then we'll say about the singularity. All right, and I ran that a few more times. This Echoes of Infinity was my favorite. In the realm of endless possibilities, where algorithms mirror human dreams. To animate this, I'm going to use Kyber. Kyber's great for a lot of things, especially with music. Some big artists like Linkin Park and Kid Cudi have used it in some of their music videos. I use it most for things that I want to look like dreamlike or psychedelic. I have an image of this cybernetic woman I'm going to use as an input, and I'll be using Flipbook, which gives it that kind of flickering effect because it generates each frame independently. I like that look. They have an option for smooth animation as well if you use motion. Here's a quick example of that from the image I'll be using. Then the transform option is for adding a style to an existing video you have. But I'm going with Flipbook here. I'll add the image and the audio, then move on to the prompt. Cybernetic woman, 
transforming into cityscape. Then they have a bunch of curated styles to choose from. I'll go with photorealistic. Then it adds a bunch of stuff to the prompt here. Now onto the video settings. For camera movement, I'm going to have it zoom in the entire time. Then I'll change the directions periodically. And I always uncheck the show uploaded image in the first frame. Otherwise, it's usually a weird transition right at the beginning. We'll use evolve at five and I'll switch the audio reactivity to high. Then Kyber will add little zooms or speed changes and sync it up to the beat. So I'll max that out and then generate previews. I'll go with this one on the top right. That looks great. Now I want to transform this into different scenes and in different directions throughout the song. To do that, I can add a scene for the next one. We'll say robots merging into cityscape then video settings and i already found points in the song where it will be good to switch at basically just when a line ends or the music changed the first spot was at eight seconds and i'll add down to the camera movement then click generate previews it won't give options this time then i'll just repeat that a few more times so add scene i'll leave robots merging into cityscape but i'll add the left to the camera movement and start it at 16. Then just keep it going. Robots transforming into cybernetic woman. Switch it to right and at 23 seconds. Now merging with the singularity. This time I'll take off down and right and then we'll do rotate clockwise. And that's at 31. Then the last one we'll say swirling cybernetic singularity. I'll bump up the evolve and that starts at 40 seconds. And that's it, now create video. This is a longer one, so it'll probably take 10 to 20 minutes. And easy as that, it's all done. They have the option to upscale to 4K right on the site if you want to. But I'll just play this exactly how it came out. No additional editing or anything needed. In the realm of endless possibilities Where algorithms mirror human dreams Connected in a digital tapestry Where minds and machines in a sea Oh, yeah Dancing on the edge of the singularity We find our souls in a harmonious unity Echoes of infinity, the future's melody Where human and AI coexist in synchrony Oh I had a ton of fun making these. I hope that helps you create something awesome. If you wanna stay up to date on the latest and greatest AI tools, check out futurepedia.io. You'll find exclusive deals all over the site and it's designed to be easy to navigate. You can narrow things down by category, then subcategory. You can easily find the exact tool for your needs and create a profile to save your favorites.